Well, as we reported to you, Hollywood is now rallying behind director Roman Polanski, who is fighting extradition to the United States for the 1977 rape of a 13-year-old girl. Polanski's guilt in this case is not in question. He admitted the crime more than 30 years ago. But now his victim is even calling for Polanski's release. Joining us tonight to try to understand better what is going on here and why, clinical psychologist Dr. Judy Kuriansky, good to have you with us. CNN senior legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin. Jeffrey, thanks for being here. Criminal defense attorney Tamara Holder. Thank you, Tamara, for being here. And CNN legal analyst Lisa Boom. Tamara, is there something in this case we're missing? Yes, of course. What we're missing is, is that there was a plea agreement that uh, took, a, took uh, place in the judge's chambers, and the judge reneged on that agreement. Roman Polanski pled guilty. He accepted the, his responsibility. But you know what? Sometimes you, you, you say you're going to go in for an evaluation, like he did, and then all of a sudden the facts change. He had no choice but to flee because if he went and was sentenced, he was then going to be deported anyway. So why not just skip town? He had no choice because that judge reneged on that deal. First of all, that's not even true. If you read the transcript, it's very clear that he was not promised any sentence. And plus, Correct, the idea... See, oh, let me finish. Let me finish. The, the idea that someone is obligated to flee is frankly illogical and makes and, and is simply not in accordance with any law that any lawyer ought to pay attention to. But it happens all the time. I have a client right now, the same thing happened to him. The plea agreement was pulled the day that he was supposed to take the plea. And so he was forced to leave the country because if he did the time here, then what else is going to happen? But he's going to be deported anyway. I'll tell you what so facts doesn't change. Make sense. Here's the facts that changed just before his sentencing. The facts that changed were that Roman Polanski was allowed to go to Europe before before he was sentenced supposedly to work on a film instead he was photographed at a german beer hall flanked by underage girls apparently in 97 she accepted a civil settlement and then she forgave him that's the but context what, there, the this issues of what happened are not in dispute he pled guilty he right. understands that he was guilty of the crime that's not the issue the issue is what now what, right. now what now is the issue? What now is, uh, now he comes uh, Woody back Allen says, That's what Woody happens. Allen says, Clay Tamara, you say, the, you say that Polanski should come back and look for a pardon, right? Right. He should come back, face the judge. The judge found misconduct in this case. Face the judge. He has the support of Hollywood, and his governor is a Hollywood star himself. Seek a pardon, and Governor Schwarzenegger can put an end to all of this right now. Don't, don't.